All righty. Well, happy Tuesday. Uh, we just had one trade for the day, and it was SQ. And so SQ was gapping up because a analyst says that there's a $250 slash $300 a share in an extreme bull case for SQ. And it's funny because SQ is just ripping right now. We were talking about how we were making higher lows and we have a flat top resistance and then we're likely to break out at some point. That's why I was trying to catch it on all these other days. But this is the day. So we hit this resistance at about 160. Hit it again, hit it again, hit it again, hit it again and again and again and again. And so what's eventually going to happen? It's going to break. It's like putting a hammer on glass. It's going to pop. And there's the pop ju just right now. And so we basically wanted to find an entry on it this morning. So what we did was on the one minute, we had a nice pull down in the morning. And I was so thankful we had a pull down and didn't just rip straight up in the morning. And we had a nice pull down. Then we broke resistance. And then look, this is the initial morning high. We sold off from it. That tells you that level is important. We break through it on high volume. We get nice extended green candles. But it's risky to just buy it right there because it could just pull back or something like that. It's easier to let it extend through and then pull back. And then right on the pullback as it was escaping the support. So we had a nice pull down, push up, come back to support old initial morning high and on this green candle right here showing that the buyers stepped up i went long and got one contract 167.5 and then look we got a nice push up and we started getting extended and i just took it off right there at about 168 uh 168.50 was my exit and so that was a nice revenue trade for okay a nice 28 percent on on one contract and that was $109. So nothing crazy. Um, if we, if we check, um, the debit spreads that we had, so on Robinhood, we had two of these debit spreads, 172 slash 175 strike debit spreads. We added one yesterday and I took it off at $70. We bought it, we bought it at 20 and we sold it at 70. So that was a nice $50 profit or 250%. And that was based on the ascending triangle. So nice and easy, great trade, great way to start the morning. Uh, so that was SQ. SQ still running. Pulled off a little bit from that 170.46 area. No big deal. I fully expect it to just continue grinding up and have a nice good breakout because that daily chart looks really good. So um, we also took a bit of profits on AMD. Um, and AMD, we just had a nice initial morning soft. So I just took one of my spreads that we talked about yesterday. And then Roku, we're still holding Roku. We have Roku debit spreads we're long term and we mentioned this all in the game plan sq is in the game plan roku is in the game plan so keep an eye out for roku roku's ripping i th i th still say 200 dollars a share by the end of the year um these are all just kathy wood stocks and she's she's a beast investor um and then the last thing action that happened today was um workhorse wkhs and workhorse we just had to exit some of our shares the swing trade didn't really play out Taking a small loss, well, nine, ten bucks, no big deal. Um, we just, I was looking to add, but looking to sell in this supply zone up here, but we just had to take a break even stop. I am still holding 13 shares just because it's lower risk. At that point, you're starting to get towards the bottom, but I will manage risk on these last 13 shares. It's very low and less volatile. Quick update on the day to recap that this workhorse trade. Workhorse started really pulling down and we were a little bit scared, but later we started to reclaim support and that's really good. And so we got over the initial morning high, which means workhorse started being green for the day and we got a really extended push. And I actually went long right about here on some call options, right about here at about 1850. We, just, we grabbed that dip, had a nice push up, but then we sold off and I actually stopped out right here at 1846. I noticed that we started to break out of this bull flag and I re got back in. See, why shouldn't I have just held the entire time? Well, the thing is, I'm not holding for the risky parts of the trade. So we got tagged out for minus $18. We added back in right there and then we added over this break of the high. And then workhorse started to really push up and I took one contract off right at about 1930 and then we got a really nice push up and I got another contract off right at about 1961 as we started to pull down workhorse is still going which is why we're still riding some of these spreads which is 
Workhorse, 22 and a half, 25 October. So if Workhorse is above 25 by October 2nd, we'll collect $150 off of $50. Uh, of profit so the whole thing will be worth 2.5 so actually $200 is the max profit so that's really nice SQ is still going so is Roku so is Nike the Disney put credit spread is coming back to life so well let's just keep an eye out for workhorse we'll see if this option can get any momentum going I think it's not being priced correctly right now but keep an eye out for workhorse targets of if it can break 20 and this close hourly above 20 I think it can break the all-time highs and it might even do so today, so we'll see. No, actually it won't. All-time highs are 22.90. Next target should be 21.24, and then 21.56. So keep an eye out for a workhorse. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. See ya.